During this video segment, I want to show you the sticky note feature within Curriculum Track. So I'm currently logged in as a teacher, as Lisa, and let's go to one of the courses that she teaches, Anatomy Physiology Honors. So when I go there, notice these notes here. These are what we call sticky notes. And you can put your mouse over them to have them enlarged so it's easier to read. Um, anytime there's a yellow note, that signifies that that's a teacher added note. So that's one that I actually added myself. Whereas a blue note is a note that was left by a curriculum track admin. Um, so it looks like Mike Vanderberg left me a note and said, great job with this unit. If you ever want to uh, release a note or dismiss a note, I should say, you can click on this check mark here and it'll actually uh, dismiss that note, meaning I read it, uh, I no longer need to have that here. If I click on one of those by accident, you can always click undo and you have something like five seconds or so to undo it in case you make a mistake. Also, in the reports area, I will show you later that you can undo as well and bring it back once again. So to add a note in, you simply click Add Note. Notice it put my name at the top there because it recognizes me as the author of that note. And if I click on the note itself, it brings this uh, blue box here, which is the editing area for the note. So I need to work on these essential questions. Um, notice it does have a spell checker, um, so you can right click and correct it as well. And then if I click out of it, um, now it's ready for me to drag to wherever I want this note to be. So I can click here. I could actually have it be at the course level, meaning it's um, a note for the entire map. I can do it at the unit level or any of the fields within a unit. So for instance, this was essential questions. I can actually uh, attach it to this particular unit and uh, those are essential questions. If you need to edit a note, you simply click on it. Notice the blue box comes in here and now you can edit it as you see fit. If you wanna move it, or when you're done editing, just click out of it again. And then to move it, you click on it, hold your mouse button down, and move it to wherever you want to. And one thing that I've noticed that really helps with moving these is, um, if this is the field you wanna move on to, don't just go part of it, try to go over it completely, let go, and um, you can add that note in in that way. To edit it, you click on it, the blue bar will appear. When you're done editing, click out of it. If you want to move it, instead of clicking, um, you click and drag. In other words, hold that mouse button down. So that's how you go ahead and add in a note. If I want to work on these in the unit plan area, I can do that as well. So let's go to this same course and we'll go to this same unit and notice that you can add um, sticky notes a lot of different places. You can click add new note here, or if you wanna add them to the benchmarks area or to any of these fields. So here's the two that we just added. And again, if you wanna edit, you click on it in the blue area here and you can type, click out of it, and now you can click and drag it wherever you want as well. So if you wanna move it to this field, you can do that and so forth. Um, if you want to add in a brand new note to any of these fields in the lesson or in the unit plan area, simply click on this icon to add the note in. Notice there it is already, and you can, this is my note, and click out of it, and the note will be there. Again, if you want to dismiss it, you can click on this to dismiss it as well. As I mentioned earlier, we have a reports area where you can see these notes as well. So if I go to notes log, I'll see all the, um, all the notes that have been added to the courses that are attached to me as a teacher. So notice these are ones that I added, uh, that Lisa added, and here are ones that Mike Vanderberg as an administrator added. And some of these have been, um, you see the status of them. Some of these have been closed already. 
Some of them are still open. It also shows the date they were created, uh, what it actually says, what field it was attached to. These aren't attached to fields because they must be attached to the course as a whole instead, um, and the unit and so forth. So in fact, here it shows, is it attached to a field or is it attached to the unit as a whole? So in fact, this particular one right here, um, this is the one that we just uh, uh, dismissed. But if I want to restore it, I can click on this and that will actually restore the note as well. So now if I come here, click back again, notice it's back once again. So again, that's the reports area. And if I log in instead of as Lisa, I'm going to log in as Mike Vanderberg, who is a curriculum track admin. Uh, we can see what, uh, what that looks like. So again, those same reports, I can go to the notes log, but notice now I have more of them um, because maybe I attach those to another course as an example. For instance, notice here's a couple that were attached to Math 6. So a curriculum admin will see all the notes, um, no matter who added them. And they can uh, look at these by user if they want to, uh, who added those, in other words. Uh, they can look at these by course. So if I want to see just the ones for a specific course, I can see by status. Or I could search by keyword. So maybe. Um, Let's pull this back out again and say any course, and let's say that we're looking for one on assessment. Um, notice that as I type, that will actually start, uh, so questions, as I type, it'll start doing the search for me. Again, if I wanna uh, restore any of these closed ones, I can simply click on this. The last thing I want to show you is, if you go to the dashboard once again, Notice that there is an icon by Math 6, and that is showing me that there is a sticky note there. That's really handy, so if a, a, a curriculum admin adds a note to one of your courses, um, you don't have to look through all those courses to find out which ones that might be. This shows us that there was a note added. I can click on this, it'll go directly to the map. Sure enough, there it is. Uh, let's go ahead and just um, dismiss that note. And now if I come back to the dashboard, notice that it's gone. This now concludes this video on sticky notes.